Yo, okay, face guy. Here we're just going on into. Welcome back to the channel. And we made some new friends at XGMe. They have sent out their new release, Mogo 2 Portable Projector. If you've heard anything about XGMe, they are phenomenal in the projector world. They make some really high quality projectors. And they sent this out for me to review for you guys. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is just open it up and see what's inside. So let's get all the contents outside the box and see what you get. Xjimi knocked it out the park with the presentation. Unboxing this actually was a very nice pleasure. Everything's nice and laid out, well protected, and here's what we have inside. Starting off with the Mogo 2 itself. Now this is a portable style of projector built into the Android system, so you get a lot of cool apps inside, a couple different connections that we'll go through here in just a second, and it does have built-in sound, which we'll get a chance to hear not too long from now. Now, the other accessories you get with the Mogo 2 is, of course, the manual here for setting it up, troubleshooting, what, uh, what may have you. Then you also have the power cord. So this plugs into the wall or any power source and then has a USB type C uh, cable at the end. So nice to see there. Do get batteries to go with what looks to be a really nice remote with the Google Assistant button there. It looks like we have a focus button here, power button, some other buttons. We'll see what these all do, but the remote actually looks really nice. And then you have a Netflix installation guide, which you'll need to use this if you want to download the Netflix app. You don't have it natively, but if you want to download it, it will show you how to do so. So XGMe just released this, and you could have actually pre-ordered it in late March, and pre-sales would continue through April 24th. Now that we're in the month of May, it is up for sale, and what they're doing right now is you can actually get a $50 coupon for just $1 so that you can own yours right now. So if you go to their website, which there will be a link down below, I'll link you guys to the MoGo2 where you guys can pick up your own. Now, there are actually some really cool features that are built in to this MoGo. So the MoGo 2 has 400 ISO lumens for plenty of brightness, as well as an auto keystone correction, intelligent screen alignment, autofocus, and intelligent obstacle avoidance, which we'll get a chance to see. Now there are two 8 watt speakers in here giving you Dolby Audio, Dolby Plus, and Dolby Digital. Now to go along with that 400 ISO lumens, you do get 90% DCI P3, giving you incredible colors, and they boast their DLP technology that's going to give you more accurate representation of those colors and do better with that contrast between light and dark. Now to speak on those two 8 watt speakers, you're going to get a 2.1 kind of experience with the cinematic audio. They have four different professional audio modes, movie, sports, music, and news mode tuned professionally to suit your audio needs. So whether you're watching outside, inside the home, whatever you're watching, it's going to sound good and have a preset for it. If you're familiar with Google TV, like Sony, for example, this has that Android TV 11 base. So it may be familiar to you once you turn it on, which we're going to do right now. They have the Android TV 11 with Google Smart Assistant. So let's get it plugged up and get into the apps and see what's in store. All right, guys, so we got it all set up. I have the lights off now, and I have to go out and say this right now. This is a really smooth operating system, really fluid. The remote works well from any angle. I'm behind the projector right now, and the sensor is in the front, and it seems to be working absolutely perfectly. And uh, it just, the menus are so fluid. I really didn't expect this to respond so well, but it does. A click of a button, and I'm making my, my changes. So, of course, being an Android-based system, you do have to sign in with a Google account. And so I did. I have mine in. And now we're in the setup menu. So, so we can do a lot of cool things automatically, like focus and auto keystone corrections. Let's give it a shot. So we're going to hit the focus button here. And on my remote, it says press to enable autofocus. So I can press this button here, and I can enable autofocus. You guys can kind of see it's pulsing in and out. It's now autofocus, and it's as sharp of an image as I can get. Of course, I can manually do it if I want to. Now, if I go back, auto keystone correction is really cool too. The way you trigger auto keystone is just by moving the projector a little bit, get it where you want to, and it'll all automatically adjust itself. There you go, getting aligned, and boom. Now it's auto-focused and auto keystone. So I think that is really, really neat feature. All right, now that we've done keystone correction and everything, it should bring us into our menus here. So this is the home screen of the Mogo 2. Super similar to what you're going to see on some of your Sony TVs, other Google Android-based televisions. Very simple to use here. And so it looks like we have a system update too, so we can actually go through and do that. And then we'll skip that for the video purposes, but this is the home screen you're going to see. So you can kind of have whatever apps you think you're going to use, you can put them all here. Your main apps, you can go into the app section and see all your apps you have downloaded. 
Then of course there are some recommended movies, different types of TV, whatever you want to have here. There's Spotify, Twitch, whatever you guys like. So really easy system to use. And I am sitting in the dark, but I do have a light on and it easily visible so and again portable so you can walk around and get it going so I do have my fire stick this is my 4k max fire stick plugged directly into the Mogo 2 and I have it powered with the USB supplied from the Mogo 2 so this is a plug and play kind of system I have it plugged up to power and then I can plug my fire stick directly to it and use its inbuilt USB as my power source so this is what we're using right now so if you go to the top right of your screen, you can go to inputs. This is how you can select your HDMI. If I go ahead and click it, then I can switch over to my Fire Stick 4K. And now this is the interface you're more used to using. And, and I'm using the actual Mogo 2 remote to control my Fire TV 4K stick. So very simple and easy to use. I'm gonna go ahead and click on a YouTube video just so you guys can hear the sound that comes out of the Mogo 2. <laughs> with a black grill or a gray grill so there's a lot of different colors you can choose i almost bought white because you guys know i love the white speakers but this time i got the light oak and i think they look absolutely amazing with that gray grill i'm a big fan of the gray grill so let's go through some specifications so that's a clip of a video of mine, and to be honest with you, it has much more of a bodied sound than you'd think it would. For a small little projector, it has a pretty good sound to it, and it's plenty loud to watch in a home, home theater environment, movie, whatever. Even with a little bit of chatter in the background, you can st still well hear what's coming through the MoGo 2. Now, you don't have to use this as your only device for audio you can plug it up to a receiver or a sound bar and use that audio audio output as well but if you don't have anything or you're using this on the go the mogo 2 speakers are actually very good now out of the box you are kind of preset to a movie mode but you can push the settings button on the remote and go down to image mode and you have the ability to kind of play around with other image modes like office game or custom like i did and i kind of played around with it shortly to kind of get a little bit better of a picture now this stuff has a it has HDR as well, so if you want an HDR experience, if you're watching HDR content, it does have an auto HDR detection. Now you can go in here and play around with a lot of other settings as well. Remember we said sound setting was in here. We had four of them, movie, music, sports, and news. I found movie was the best for pretty much any listening you're gonna do. Music was second best. Everything else kind of sounded tinny. So I like the movie or music mode, but movie was the more full bodied sound. Guys, in closing, I am thoroughly impressed with this XG Me Mogo 2. It's a really lightweight, portable, if you want it to be, projector that gives you pretty decent sound for the size and a lot of cool apps to be built in. So if you want to take this on a road trip, power it up with a power bank, whatever you want, you can do that and have access to any apps you want to just like you would on a smartphone, a smart TV, or a tablet, or whatever. And it does have a pretty good image picture. Now there is a Mogo 2 Pro that kind of takes it up a notch in picture quality and some of the features, but this is a solid choice for you. So there will be a link down below in the description box. I have to say thank you one more time to XGMe for sending this out for review. I thoroughly hope that we can do some of the other projectors because if you don't know the name XGMe, they have been well known for the projectors and they have some award winning projectors that hopefully we can get our our hands on one day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already, and we will see you guys in the next video. Keep this guy out. Peace. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.